The war for the wheel spins back into play. SIU football will host SEMO Friday, October 23rd. Coach Hill met with the local media in a virtual press conference. I spoke with Coach Tuke through Zoom. Both coaches excited to make this game happen. Our seniors excited. They have been through a lot um, with games canceled, season canceled, votes and polls and doing different things. And so I think that uh, they're in a good they're in a good place. They they understand that the thing that they really love to do, and especially as a senior, you know your your days of playing football. They're always numbered, no matter how old you are. But especially when you get to be a senior, and so for a unique opportunity to get out there and play the game that you love. Um, I think they're excited. Get ready now. Go on, please. Do it, Dave. Go on, please. Do it, Dave. Go on, please. To be able to tell the team that we're uh, not only getting to play, but we get to play for a trophy and a rival, and it makes a lot of sense. And they're super happy. Got to tell their family, too. I sent a video to their family and stuff. And so um, guys are excited. You know, now, now our focus is on that preparation. The game was originally slated for September 19th, but was canceled due to health concerns from the pandemic. So what changed from then to now to make this game happen? The NCAA granted everybody the opportunity to have fall practice. So um, starting today, I just got off the Missouri Valley call, and every team in our league is starting practice this week. And Coach Tuke and I talk, and if we we're going to, to have practice, uh, have inter-squad scrimmages, and uh, do those things, and we, we might as well play each other. Ultimately, several of the NCAA uh, guidelines and rules changed. One is this season doesn't count, so guys don't have to worry about burning a year of eligibility. I think when we're at football, our players are at their safest, and that's just where it's at. I think that it, within our testing protocols, um, th they reflect that. Um, I think our guys are more focused. Yeah, a lot of the, the testing that's improved uh, now the rapid testing within 15 minutes, you can get a test and things of progression and just felt like it made sense. The short drive to Carbondale will allow SEMO to drive up and back to Cape Girardo on the same night. That played a big role in making this game happen. Travel concerns and, and obviously hotels and all the other things that our concern aren't for us. Uh, so we can go get in our own vehicles, be like in high school, show up and uh, drive your own car and go play uh, SIU. So um, that, that definitely put us at ease. And the coaches decided that Friday, October 23rd at 6 o'clock was the perfect night to play. Getting your, your team ready to play a, a physical football game. And so uh, you need about that, that much time will give us that opportunity to have the amount of practices we felt like um, would be good for both sides. And so that week just made sense. And then Friday night, you know, I, I just, uh, you know, it gets me excited. Play on Friday night, Friday night lights. There's not high school football um, going on in the state of Illinois right now. Um, and I feel for those kids. Back in my hometown, there's going to be a lot of excitement in DuCoin and the small towns around southern Illinois that will get excited for, for a game. And um, hopefully we can get uh, – uh, safely create the, the safest environment possible uh, for a Friday night football game. 